Welcome to a a continuation. Hey everybody, welcome to a continuation of the Black Friday haul. I have one more box I'm waiting on. If I do not get that box uh, within the next week or so, then this video is going to go up and that'll be a different one. It has been shipped, so I know it's on its way, but tracking with packages and everything has been all sorts of messed up. So, this is the Black Friday haul from Kino Lorber, or LeBear. I think it's Lorber. So, let's see what we have. Okay, so Kino Lorber. Y'all don't want to see that. All right. So, first up, we have The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly on Blu-ray. This is an upgrade. I bought the DVD version for like five bucks, but it takes up a lot of space on my shelf. So, I wanted to replace it with the Blu-ray. Um, this was done during the Kino sale that took place right around Black Friday. So, this has... Three audio commentaries, uh, three separate audio commentaries by film historian Tim Lucas, noted, Kurt, noted cultural historian Christopher Frayling, and film historian Richard Schickel. Uh, Christopher Frayling also is a Clint Eastwood biographer, I believe. There's a Leone's West, a making of the good, the bad, and the ugly documentary, the Leone style, uh, El Maestro Ennio Morricone featurettes, The Man Who Lost the Civil War Doc, A Reconstruction of the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly, Deleted Scenes, Vignettes, Leone Trailers, Animated Galleries, and some other stuff. The Good, the Bad, and the Ugly is one of my favorite movies. Most people don't know that. Uh, I'm a huge fan of Leone. I like almost everything he's done. I own everything he's ever done. The only one I really have a hard time watching is Once Upon a Time, I think it's Once Upon a Time in America with Robert De Niro. With Robert De Niro. That one can be kind of tough to get through. But my good, the bad, and the ugly replacement. Now next up, ooh, we're staying with Eastwood and it is Play Misty for me. The closest thing Eastwood, Eastwood ever did to a horror film other than talking to a chair. So, we have an audio commentary with Tim Lucas, an interview with the co-star, I can't see who it is because there is a Made in Mexico on it, a video essay by historian Howard S. Berger, and if that's the guy think you, thinking of, Howard S. Berger, that would be Howard Berger of K&B Construction, or K&B Construction, K&B Effects, who went on to do Evil Dead, Army of Darkness, and I think Howard went on to do uh, The Walking Dead. Play it again, a look back at Play Misty for me, a documentary. The Beguiled Misty, Don and Clint featurette. Now the cool part about picking up stuff from Kino is a lot of times they'll have this, Trailers from Hell with Adam Rifkin. So, Trailers from Hell, if you don't know what that was, I stumbled across them on, I think, YouTube. And Trailers from Hell, I don't know if it still is, but it was a website where you'd look up your favorite trailer, and it would have various directors giving information and talking over the trailer, almost like a commentary track. Um, the one that I found was like, I think it was Eli Roth talking about some movie, and I don't remember what it was now. But that's how I found out, and then they just kept updating things, like Joe Dante did a few. And what they do is they pull directors, and a lot of times... It's not directors of their own films. So you won't see, like, uh, you won't see Joe Dante talk about The Howling. You'll see him talk about The Howling 2, My Sister is a Werewolf, or something like that. Uh, there's a photo montage, a stills montage, TV spots, a trailer, and a teaser. So play Misty for me. All right, next up, Still Eastwood, The Iger Sanction. This has an audio commentary with a critic named Nick Pinkerton, an interview with actor Reiner Shone, 
an archival interview with Heidi Brühl, 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 uh, a vintage eight minute promo reel, poster and image gallery, four TV spots, five radio spots, and a trailer. The Iger Sanction is one I remember watching on TV, and I also remember later on thinking that Sylvester Stallone just, just kinda remade the Iger Sanction and called it Cliffhanger. Now, that's what I remember, whether or not that's true. I don't, it's been such a long time since I've seen both. So, the Iger Sanction. All right, and here we have Clint Eastwood in The Beguiled. So, this has an audio commentary with Kat Ellinger. Kat Ellinger, she is from Diabolique magazine, and she is in a lot of uh, Giallo stuff. Mostly the stuff with uh, the guy who did all the Colors of the Dark, Sergio Martino, I think it is. But she's a Sergio Martino biographer, and she is very good in commentaries. She pops up on a lot of stuff. An interview with actress Mel uh, Melody Thomas-Scott. The Beguiled Misty Don and Clint featurette, which is also on one of the other, uh, which I think is also on uh, Play Misty for me. A Trailers from Hell with John Landis, and a theatrical trailer is included as well. Now, uh, again, Trailers from Hell. I'm very, very excited for that. Now, this one, this one was on sale for like $2. It is called Wild Woman, and it's a brand new master. It has Hugh O'Brien and Francis, uh, and Francis from Forbidden Planet. Marilyn Maxwell, Marie Windsor, brand new HD Master from a 2K Cameras negative. It's a 1970 Western. Um, there's an audio commentary by Lee Gambin and whatever KLSC trailers are. I'm assuming Kino Labor Studio Classics, maybe. Not 100% sure. Yep. Okay. Yeah. KLSC on the spine. You can't read it, but it says Kino Labor or KL Studio Classics. So. Wild Women looks like it'd be kind of fun. I only have a few left, so bear with me, folks. This one, for a few dollars more, I had the DVD, I upgraded to the Blu-ray during the sale because it wasn't that much, and because, again, the DVD, twice the size of this, I can fit probably two, three more Blu-rays, uh, three, maybe four more Blu-rays, probably four, maybe six at most, for taking out the bigger DVDs. Because the DVDs are like this and a tad bit bulkier. These are smaller and thinner so you could fit more in. So I upgraded. I do not think there's a huge difference other than the Blu-rays have, I think the Blu-rays are 4K restorations. Um, this one has an audio commentary by Tim Lucas, an on-location featurette with uh, filmmaker Alex Cox, an audio Commentary by filmmaker Christopher Le Frayling, which Christopher Frayling appeared on the previous releases. That much I know. Uh, FAFDM, the Christopher Frayling Archives. No idea what that is. Um, Clint Eastwood remembers... Oh, FAF. Duh. For a few dollars more, the Christopher Frayling Archives. That makes more sense. A new standard. Frayling on for a few dollars more. Back for more, Clint Eastwood remembers for a few dollars more. Trey Voce for a few dollars more. Uh, for a few dollars more, the original American release version. Location comparison. Trailers from Hell with Ernest, Dickin, uh, Ernest Dickerson. Well, I'm pretty sure Ernest Dickerson directed Tales from the Crypt. I want to say he directed Demon Knight, and then he did Tales, for, uh, Tales from the Crypt. Tales from the Hood. Um... Animated image galleries, radio spots, a restored UA logo, a double bill trailer, two for a few dollar, few dollars more, and some Kino Lerbor Studio Classic Spaghetti Westerns trailers. So that's really cool. That is my upgrade. I think this is the last one. Yes, it is. Okay, and I am excited as hell. It is Mad Max in 4K high resolution definition. So. This is interesting, because Scream Factory put out a special edition of Mad Max. 
Scream Factory is now getting into 4K. Scream Factory, somewhere along the way, lost the license. And it went to Kino Lerbor, who put out Mad Max. And I really, really hope this does well, because I like Mad Max, but I like The Road Warrior even more. And I really want The Road Warrior on 4K. And if that does well, Beyond Thunderdome needs a special Super Blu-ray 4K Super Special Edition. So the final one in this is Mad Max. So let me run down the features. An audio commentary with art director John Dowding, cinematographer David Egby, special effects artist Chris Murray, and moderated by filmmaker Tim Ridge. Uh, there's Road Rage, a new interview with director George Miller. Interviews with stars Mel Gibson and Joanne Samuel and cinematographer David Egby. Mel Gibson, The Birth of a Superstar. Mad Max, The Film Phenomenon. Trailers from Hell with Josh Olsen. Don't know who that is. This has the original Australian and English US dub audio. Theatrical trailer, TV spots, and radio spots. So yeah, this is really, really cool. I hope this does well. I hope... I think this is Kino's second 4K they've done. However, I'm guessing that they're going to do way better with this than they did with their first one. Kino's first 4K was Hannibal. I'm not a huge fan of the Hannibal Lecter series to begin with. Silence of the Lambs. Uh, I can't remember what the next one was. Uh, Red Dragon and Hannibal. Not a huge fan of those. I know more people who are fans of Mad Max than the movie Hannibal. So I hope this does well for them. Hopefully they can put more stuff like this out on 4K. So I want to say thank you guys for watching this unboxing. I, and I will snap my fingers. And if you see me, if you see me in new clothes from my snap, I got the box. If you don't, you'll see something else. So, thank you for watching. Uh, remember to stay spooky, stay scary, take care. And as a reminder, I am taking off December... Wait, I, I think I already said that. But as a reminder, I'm taking off December 26th through January... 7th, I think? With the new video being out on the 16th, I think. Something like that. Anyway, something like that's going on. So... So I know December 26th through I through mid January I'll just say mid January is mid January is when my reviews will continue. Um, they'll probably already be filmed and behind a paywall, but just wanted to let you know that there will be no new content other than maybe snacks because I filmed that right now, which is early early to close to mid December. So thank you for watching. We will see you all later.